so Bathor created man in his own image. In the image of Bathor, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And to the female, Bathor declared, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Now Bathor declared it so. But the women of our village believe they know their place even better than the Lord does. For they bear us no children. They bear us no difference, and they do not drink the blood of Bathor. They, these children of the night, feast on the blood of man. For charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. We witness no fear. And yet, these daughters of Bathor not only reject the Lord's teachings, but use their flesh to turn us to the side of evil. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked will be destroyed. Bathor gave us the key to eternal life and eternal peace in paradise. Now we have betrayed Bathor, and we are to be punished. They are the ones who flaunt their barren flesh, and yet we are to be punished. We are to be punished. God will forgive all who confess their sin. We must cleanse Bathor's home of this evil. We must purge this darkness. We must slay these demons. In the name of Bathor, our Lord, we must spill the blood of the truths.
must not get involved. This is not our war. We've waited over a thousand years. And we must remain patient. A war is upon us, Naga. Your day of vindication will come, Guilty Nay. But this is not our war. Although they've shown us none, I want only justice for us all. The Tribbids have left us no choice. They have cursed us with disease. But all of your suffering will not last much longer. We have accomplished many great deeds in the name of Lord Baithor to repay our sins. For when Onwick was tempted by the Baron Bathsheba and forced to give in to his desires, some of lesser faith might say that Lord Baithor had turned his back on us. But we forgive you, Onwick. Thank you, Crando. For Baithor has shown great mercy, and so shall we. We shall bring an end to your suffering. You shall no longer wear the cloth of Bethel. You have given yourself to sin. For your eyes have been used for evil. We shall return them to goodness. Blood to blood, we return the blood of Bathor to the Lord. Remove this empty vessel from my sight. Sanctify yourselves with the blood of our Lord. The blood is the life. I shall not be honored with the blood of Bathor until I have rid his land of the poison. A land that 2,000 years ago he presented to us in exchange for caring for its treasures until his return. Now we have failed, Bathor, and must suffer until every hope, every path, and every creature is free of the evil that has overtaken us. The lustful sinners must be destroyed.
are we here? I'm bored. They invoke the red. It must be serious. <laughs> Let's go play. It's a beautiful day for a swim. We'll have to wait. Yes, it's not very becoming. Not very becoming at all. And on my feeding nights. I hope they get this over with quickly. I don't want to be here. I'm simply starving. We should just go. There's no reason why we're all here. Let's go. I haven't done anything. It's probably something completely mundane. They must feel so dreadful with their hair so bright. Daughters of Baythor, it is with great reluctance that we invoke the right of the red and call you here today. Until now, there have been only rumors of an uprising upon us, but the murder of several of our sisters has shown us that the judgment day is here. We Nephites have convened and consulted our memories of the word of Bathor and determined that the mercy of Bathor shall be granted only to those of us who hold our faith and do not flee our duties here. The death of our sisters purifies us all, for Bathor is just and merciful. And the light of a candle shine no more at all in thee, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all that were found slain upon the earth. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven, saying, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and honor. For he has judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. My sister was a kind and honorable person. Her only sin was to deny those Beasts, the pleasures of the Speak flesh. Speak not what you do not understand, my child. Bathor has protected us for 2,000 years and shall return to protect us for an eternity more. We shall not fail in this final trial. We shall not be cast out at the final moment. This is a test to see who is worthy of living in Bathor's kingdom of peace and joy. We shall not tolerate rumors of unrest and flight. We shall all remain. The blood is the life. The, the blood, blood is the life. life. This is the path of fools. We should flee, or we should fight. We should not sit idly by and be destroyed. Our word is decided. The blood is the life. Now go. Bless us, O Bathor, for these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty. The blood is the life. Remember a time when these people walked the lands? I can no longer say what I remember. Just that the memory was once mine. I see my mother laughing as she sings a lost song to me. And what of these others? 
these other graves. They are the homes of the forgotten. Their names were written once. I see words dancing on paper, surrounded by flame. They were glorious and wonderful, but their age of dancing is gone. The ink has returned to the night sky. And so we must pass the words on so that no more are forgotten. I know images of pain, suffering, but I do not know what is real and what is imaginary. We've lost everything. They are as far off as the stars, flickering and echoing. They are no longer ours. Our words are gone forever. The fog of forgetfulness creeps from the east every time we do not honor the words of the past. you for as long as I can remember and I'll hold you forevermore. How can she continue to expose herself to that innocent child? She is vile and dishonors Baythor. Only of Baythor's blood shall we drink.
my people. We have spent these millennia learning complacency. We cannot fight. We cannot survive without the structures and routines of Bathory. We are caged. And now we are turning on ourselves. Just today, I ordered my people to stay in place. I told them it was the will of Baythor because I was afraid of stealing their hope. We have nowhere to go. I guess we should thank you for driving us out so long ago, but we cannot thank you for the many years of suffering and isolation. But those memories are finally fading. And we are the keepers of history. Drove you out? You don't even remember, do you? I'm afraid not. The fog curses you, strips you of your clarity. But no matter. Meet us tomorrow night in the clearing to the west of the village. We will guide you to safety teach you the ways of survival and record whatever is left of your culture accomplishments. Thank you for showing us mercy where we have shown you none. I must find the other red me fights. We will call for a gathering to prepare for the
But I am afraid, Elizabeth. I am afraid. Do not fear, Fontaine. We are nothing but what we believe ourselves to be. For we have all died many deaths. Once for each of the times we've allowed our spirit to be crushed. And once for each of the times we have acted against that which we believe to be right and just. What will happen to us when we are slain? Some say we shall be reborn, imbued with our true purpose by Lord Peter. Others doubt whether we are reborn or our eternal fate is to be forgotten is a truth that hides among the stars. Will you stay with me until the end? I will, Fontaine, until the final star returns to the darkness. Not stand by any longer. Although they do nothing to preserve our ways and though they act like children, we cannot simply allow them to be slaughtered. There were thousands once, according to the teachings. Now only a couple dozen of us left. not get involved. Vengeance is ours. I have betrayed you all. And I have betrayed Bathor. We must abandon our homes and leave at once. You have been taken by evil. We knew there was a traitor among us, but we never would have suspected. For Beagle, the blood is the life!
want those outsiders destroyed! They mocked Bethor for the last time. Bethor showed them mercy by banishing them instead of executing them, and this is how they repay Bethor! We have won a great victory. Bethor has rewarded us with this great honor, and at the same has given us another test of our faith and our will. These wild demons were banished. We believe they had been banished forever, but now they have returned, and now they too shall die, and Bethor shall grant us this victory once more. A victory not only of the present, but a victory of the future. We will cleanse the land of Bethor and prepare for his impending return. The second era of Bethor is almost here. Do you doubt the power, the birthright of Bethor? Bethor is almighty. Good. <laughs> Do any of you doubt the power, the honor, the birthright of Bethor? The, the blood, blood is the life. The blood is the life. I see there is one whose conviction to the right of Bethor is not strong enough. We cannot allow your lack of enthusiasm and commitment to the word of Bethor to fester. You are like a disease. Let us see if we can find a cure before it is too late for all of us. Remove your shoes. I'm sorry. I will fight to uphold the word of Bethor. How dare you speak the name of Bethor? You must make a blood sacrifice to show you are worthy. Remove your shoes. Now you must complete a test of will to show that Bethor has given you honor. You must walk the path of glass. Bethor has spoken. Your transgression has almost been paid, for you have drawn no blood. Now, with your last step, you must make an offering to Bethor. The blood is the life. Blood, blood is the life. Bethor has called on us to take up our most difficult quest. We must leave the village and travel to the west, the land that Bethor once forbade, to stop the spread of this pestilence. Today, we each drink twice the blood of Bethor to give us the power in this ultimate battle. Jacob, Stoker, you two shall go forth as scouts to locate our enemy. The blood is the life. Sava, Berwick, 
dispose of this howling animal. The blood is the life! I shall take the path to the east. And I the path to the west. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. You've had your day. The second coming of Bathor is upon us. I hope you're prepared for what you've set in motion. You're covered in the blood of corruption. Go wash yourself. What is this place? What do all you wild women need with all these things? Have you stolen them? There's nothing wild about us. We have advanced while you've remained stationary. We are the last preservers of culture. After you banished us, we knew that our destiny was to keep our legacy. And you, on the other hand, lived in complacent waste. You've accomplished nothing at all as we Grasp at sand to keep your memories. Elizabeth, are you all right? That book is in our mother tongue, lost for a thousand years. a donné le ton de la vie éternelle et de la paix. Aujourd'hui, la promesse d'une harmonie a été brisée. Il y a une épidémie parmi les prêtres de Bethor. Ils mettent le blâme de cette plaie sur ceux qu'ils considèrent comme des sorciers. Les femmes ont été bannies et les hommes exécutés afin de repousser les forces démoniaques et préserver la paix de Bethor. Je me suis engagé à garder nos coutumes et nos rites avec cet écrit. Je vais passer ce manuscrit aux bannis qui ont promis de protéger notre passé et nos secrets. Quand mes actes seront oubliés par ceux qui me punissent, je serai délivré et nous chercherons à purifier cette terre contre le mal. Car pour le mal, les jours sont comptés. Guiltine, you need to do... Thank <laughs> you. 
Where there is one, there are many. We must take him to the twins. Do not be alarmed. You are with friends. Your blood was full of poison. The blood of Bathor must be running out. Your blood is thin and impure. We have cleansed your blood as we do our own. What is, what is your name? I am Jacob, son of Bathor. Jacob, you are you. You must drink more fresh blood. blood. Jacob, we apologize for this, but you must sleep now. Count down with us from 10. 10, 10 9, 8, We shall spill their blood. We will return their flesh to Bathor. Then, and only I then- I found them. I found them. You have interrupted the word of Bathor. I hope you bring great news. Indeed I do. Excellent. Prepare your weapons. Jacob, lead us to victory. No, Grando, you do not understand. They have healed me. I have no wounds. It is true. What trickery is this? We must stop drinking the blood of Bathor. Blasphemer! Liar! See what they have done? They mean to destroy us from within. They have taken the name of Bathor in vain, and for this they will pay. We must rid this man of his demons. Well, behold, Bathor has given us the power to tread upon serpents and over scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. 
You must confess your sins to Baylor. Jacob's brother, the unloyal Esau. Bethor's light shines upon him. He's been given an opportunity to redeem himself. Blood is the life. The blood is the life. Brando has found some use for you. You have one last chance in the eyes of Baythor. You'll do perfectly. Just right for Grando and for Baythor. <laughs> Get him to the twins. say he should be fine. Until he returns to his cult and they kill him anyway. I don't know why we even bother. I see them off in the distance, to the east. Giltina and I will cut them off before the clearing. I won't leave without her. She knows the true language of Baythor. Fine. Do not be alarmed. You are with friends. Your blood was full of poison. The blood of Baythor must be running out. So you are the traitor! 
How could you? <laughs> Time for a nap. Good morning, Fontaine. I don't mind if it takes you all day to confess. I'm in no hurry. <sighs> we have demonized the men for too long. We have made them suffer. Though it is us who tempt them with our shame. We must no longer deny our bodies. We must be vessels for Bathor, granting new children for the Lord. <sighs> now, Fontaine, you must tell me, how can you lift this curse we placed on the men? You must call upon the others to return to the word of Bathor. <sighs> we do not remember or even recall the true word of Bathor. We cannot read the edicts. We only remember what we choose to. Lie! Ah! You were just as foul as Grando said you were. Well, I shall break your will. We must avert our eyes. The seductress will try to sway us from the word of Bathor with her supple body. Look away and close your eyes tightly. Pas nourri pendant cette nouvelle lune. Mais n'aie pas peur, mon amour. Le brouillard de la nuit nous protégera. Et avant que ne vienne l'aube, nous aurons été nuits. Nous serons toujours nuits. Perds tes forces, mon amour. Nous y sommes presque. Fantine, je me souviens de cet endroit. Je me souviens de tout. Tout cela nous attendait. Le grenier, vite.
C'est bien mieux. Tu es de nouveau toi-même, Fantine, comme je t'ai connue autrefois. Nous ne nous séparerons plus jamais. Nous devons commencer le rituel, mon amour. Le brouillard se dissipera avant l'aube, et les chasseurs approchent à grands pas. Leur fanatisme est une plaie sur notre pays. Mais nos jours de résistance ont pris fin. Ce soir, ensemble, nous chuterons et entrerons l'éternité, main dans la main. Viens, mon amour. Ô oh, déesse des ténèbres, mère des immortels, que je renaisse et devienne ton enfant, que ta lumière absorbe la mienne. Permets-moi d'entrer dans les ténèbres, comme si de ton ventre immortel je retrouvais les bras de tes enfants, que j'appellerais sœur. Au clair de lune, que je renaisse et devienne ton enfant. Conduis à moi ceux des ténèbres qu'ainsi je puisse renaître.
Look at this abomination! Such evil from the bowels of hell should not set foot here on Earth. nous jeter dans les temps ardents de feu et de soufre, mais je connais vos secrets. Vous nous regardez la nuit. Vous avez le désir d'être nous. Vous nous désirez, mais jamais vous ne nous aurez, car notre amour éternel est inscrit et nous voyageons dans les ténèbres. vivront à toujours dans vos souvenirs. Vous n'avez pas réussi à nous anéantir et notre pouvoir grandira en traversant les âges. Car votre intolérance et votre haine nous ont chassés. Mais jamais vous n'aurez le plaisir de nous arracher l'une à l'autre. And in the same way, also, the women abandoned the natural function of the man and burned in their desire toward one another. Women with women committing indecent acts and receiving in their own persons due penalty of their error. Bethor, we have served you with all of our hearts. We have done all you have asked. We have vanquished all who might destroy you. We protect you in our hearts and minds, and we pray for the day when you may return from your holy conquests to bring peace upon the land. You, you've blessed us with your return. You are not Lord Baythorn. You, you cannot be. It, but, it, but it can't be. The, the tributes, they've all been destroyed. I left you with paradise. I gave you the gift of eternal life. I gave you the gift of perfection. And this is how you honor my name. What have you done to my children? But all of your children remain. Th those who have betrayed you have been returned to the blood. Returned in my name? What gives you the right to destroy that which I created? Obeying your words of 2,000 years ago. I left no words. I left no place for your destruction. I left peace and harmony and journeyed off to build our empire. And I have. For you are great, Lord Bathor. You Enough. Are enough you have committed sins in my name i sought for a world where we could be free and you turned to hate in my name le sang est la vie venu d'une terre antique qui me dit « Vaste et sans tronc, deux jambes de pierre se dressent dans les dunes désertiques. » 
prêt, un visage brisé, mis en fui, sourcil fier, bouche ridée, froid et autoritaire, se tient stoïque, témoignant de ses passions que son sculpteur entendit et inscrivit dans cet objet sans vie, sans voix, les marquants de sa main et que son cœur a nourri. Et sur le piédestal paraît ces mots gravés. « Je me nomme Ozymandias, roi des rois, admirer mon œuvre au puissant et trembler. » Rien d'autre ne reste. Autour du déclin de cette colossale ruine, nues et démesurées, lisses et solitaires, les sables s'étendent sans fin.